Anyone online? We do have one speaker. Okay. Good afternoon, Frederick County Council. There is a lot of discussion online about Charter Amendments A and B on the ballot this 2024 election cycle. People are wondering online whether they should support the amendments or not. Well, I am here to shine some perspective on that and hopefully give an answer that the Frederick County sir, voter can you is hear me, looking sir? for. Specifically, sir, is it what's can, that? Just make sure you yes. state your name and address for the record first. Yeah, okay, it's uh, Levi Trumbull, uh, Frederick City, Maryland. Thank you. So as I was saying, uh, hopefully I can reclaim some of my time here, specifically as it relates to question B, uh, which reads as follows, uh, quote, this charter amendment would grant the county council authority to remove the head of a department, agency, or office appointed by the county executive after a public hearing and upon the affirmative vote of at least five council members. Now, you can either vote that you are for or against this amendment. As it relates to question B, I am here to tell every Frederick County voter that you should absolutely vote for this amendment. This is very important and something that should have been in effect decades ago. What question B will do is put the Frederick County voter back in charge of the government. Do you know that right now, no matter how deficient a Frederick County department is, the county council has no way to remove those who are responsible for the failure of their departments. To me, that is absolutely crazy. Every department in Frederick County has one mission, and that is to work for and to serve the people of this county. And under our current system, no matter how corrupt or negligent a department is, the system allows for no checks and balances on that. So we need changes on that ASAP. And that's why you should absolutely vote in the affirmative for question B. I can firsthand testify uh, to the importance of question B. Last year, like many others in Frederick County, I filed a complaint with the Department of Planning and Permitting about the retail junkyard operating on Daisy Court, and Tolson DeSaw, who's your Frederick County Zoning Administrator, told me firsthand that he would commence action on that hazardous property, and then brought me in for four separate meetings to talk about the issue before he would ultimately decide to do nothing about it and backtrack. He's a disgrace and he should have been fired for the lies that he put in writing. Tolson Desai is a two-faced, lying, spineless, no integrity, hack government employee. But even worse than that, then we had uh, Miss Big Boss Deborah Dunscap Carpenter, who is head of the department, try to cover up for Tolson's nonfeasance. She's outrageous for that. When I filed a written grievance to her department, she never investigated a thing. She came back with the most disingenuous response, and in my opinion, she knows nothing about zoning. She got all her facts wrong, and she needs to be canned for being the ringleader of that crazy operation going on down there. They're all hacks, and most were appointed under a previous administration, Sir, your time and not expired. by the current one that we have now. Sir, your time has expired. What's that? Your time has expired. Well, you took some of it, so I appreciate it. Yeah, vote for question B in the affirmative. Thank you for taking my time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I just want to make the, the comment. We had the caller in that was um, making comments about staff that uh, I would prefer not to hear in this forum. Unfortunately, under the Constitution, uh, public comment gives callers or speakers the right to say anything they want. Uh, and so we cannot uh, edit or... Uh, censor what they're saying so i just want to point that out because i sometimes will get people say why don't you cut that person off but are uh, under the constitution their constitutional amendment they have the right to say whatever they want to say in their three minutes so all right that wraps up public comment we'll move on to county council uh, member comments we'll start with council member mckay 